Hey, so my brother and I are here at CSU. We're doing some training, doing some balls, doing some uh, calisthenics, some plyometrics. And I wanted to give you a really great drill for developing explosive power with your jump or just developing strength with your lower body without having to use weights. You don't need equipment for this. All you need is a simple box I'm gonna share with you. Uh, because uh, especially for me and Thomas, this is one of the drills that we would use a lot when we were first training. And this is something that I actually picked up from the founder of parkour, uh, David Bell. He was always using bodyweight movements. And one of the exercises that we saw him doing uh, when we first got into this type of movement was uh, depth jumps. So jumping from a block, jumping down, jumping up, doing calisthenic type movements, except for he added kind of a unique parkour twist to it. And uh, by following these type of exercises, we were able to not only increase our jump, but increase our leg strength, our joint uh, stability, because these exercises are really gonna push you on your joint stability so that you have safe joints. And by following these, my brother and I were actually able to develop to a really high level. We started doing commercials. For those of you that don't know, we got into parkour, started doing commercials and stuff. And we were actually able to train with David Bell and work on a film with him uh, because of this training that we did that we learned from him from the very beginning. So it came back full circle. And so I wanted to show you what we did to get to that level with our calisthenics training and jump training. Now before we go over to these exercises, uh, I just want to let you know that at the end I'm going to share with you a couple of resources. Uh, one for in-home training, if you need some in-home exercises and things like that. And the other is for parkour training. So there's two different routes we can go depending on how advanced you are. Now, for these exercises, I'm going to show you the advanced version first, and then after that, I'm going to go over the beginner version that you can do. All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating these exercises on a small ledge. Now, you can use a box. You can use pretty much anything that's elevated. You just want something that's about knee height or a little bit above. That's what I'm aiming at. And of course, as you're a beginner, you're going to go slower with all of these. You may not jump as high on all of these, and that's totally fine. Take the beginner uh, variation and just start slow. So with all of our jumps, we're going to be doing a jumping exercises with all of our jumps we want to land right at uh, you know the forefoot here we're gonna be absorbing using the ankles as a shock absorber as we land we're gonna bring the hips back and align our body and stack our joints at the beginning and absorb with the whole body so that way we're not injuring ourselves and doing things like that and we're building good form so the first exercise is going to be a box jump except we're gonna add a little more to it so the first jump we're gonna jump on top of the box, you want to land as soft as you can, and then we're going to drop back down and come back up to that explosive jump right there. So that's what we're going to aim for for the first one. Back and forth, up top, back down, just doing that. If you can't do that yet, go slow. Focus on the landing and come back up. The second one is we're going to do the same thing, except now we're going to really test our stability and balance on the landing with one leg. So we're going to jump up, except instead of landing on both feet, we're going to land on one leg. So we're going to jump up, one leg. Drop down, jump up, one leg. So we're going to be switching legs, really focusing on that balance and stability as we land on top. The third drill is going to be an explosive jump but using one leg the whole time. So basically like a stair jump or a stair, stair step, except we're gonna jump at the top of it. So we're gonna start like this, one foot on top. We're gonna explode up, switch legs, come back down. Now as you come back down, you wanna make sure that you're not just dropping down to the ground. You really wanna land slow. Almost like you could stay here and do an eccentric slow movement down. And that's gonna really help us with that one leg explosive power with our jumps. The next one is we're gonna be testing our side to side jumps. So for this, we're really gonna test our stabilizing or our stabilizers for our joints. And we're also going to work on a different jump. So we're jumping side to side. But the important thing is that when we jump, we don't want to uh, land off to the side. So we wanna make sure our jump is nice and close. We're nice and soft, especially on the landing down. We don't want to jump too far out that way because that's going to put too much pressure on our joints to the side. Basically, you just want to jump, land straight, and come back. And so you'll be jumping side to side. What I like to do is have my arms come back on the landing so I can pump them back up for the jump. And of course, you'll want to do both sides. 
So those are the four exercises. You want to mix those up because by training those, that's where you develop into learning things like this. So for example, uh, you could, once you get that box jump down and you're able to get that explosive jump power back and forth, you can do things where you can jump plyos from here and have a really explosive jump. The next thing is the step ups. That means you can do more fun things where you can run, jump really high, come back and do things like where you're doing one leg or you have to precision somewhere. And then with the side to side jumps, there's a lot of times where you're running through something or you're having a vault over something and you're not gonna be landing perfectly straight. You might come off to the side a little bit. And so that exercise is what's gonna help you develop those legs, develop the stability and have a really explosive jump. Now, of course, those are more advanced variations. That's just where you can take it. You can definitely go to beginner level like I talked about where you're just going slow. You're doing the same jump. So you do the side to side, but you're just going slow. Maybe you do a lower box and then you can step down. You don't have to take the big drops or anything. You start very small, gradually build up. As far as the step ups, you could just be standing and coming back up, building the movement patterns as you get better. And then you can do it more advanced from there. So there's always beginner options. And if you're just getting started and you're not really into the more advanced stuff yet, then I'd recommend going to the link in the description because we, uh, depending on what we have down there, we may give you a free workout or we talk more about our RPF4 method. Either way, you're gonna learn about our RPF4 method, which is our in-home training method that involves body weight exercises that you can do in-home without having to go to the gym. They're very short workouts to develop a lean athletic body in a short amount of time using beginner exercises. So I would recommend checking that out. Now, if you are a little more advanced, you like the more explosive jumps, uh, then I would recommend checking out our uh, five-day parkour starter course. You can get that down below. That's a free course where it just takes you more into the vaults and, and different movements of parkour, shows you some more exercises uh, that are kind of like this, a little more advanced. So if that's you, then check that out in the description. We'll put that down there as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to share with you some really important tips that helped us out a lot with our jumps and our, our joint stability, things like that. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next video.